Hey, what's up guys, it's Roost. Today we're going to cover off how to get some of the new Legendary Black Forge weapons a week early. Earlier in the week, I talked about Forge Saboteurs, which are bosses that can roam around during the event, and how to access these bosses. You need to go to designated areas on any planet. However, we're going to pick on Earth, since it has the best farm method. Go to the outskirts on Earth and wait around the water level and look for a pop-up on your screen that says neutralize shield drones and a forge saboteur has arrived. You will notice a big enemy appearing shielded by drones. Simple, shoot the drones. To damage the boss, the boss is 610 light level, so make sure you got some company with you. Make sure to keep a consistent pace of damage to the boss and then he will not shield back up. Killing any of these saboteurs has a chance of dropping one of the new forge weapons with a random perk. If you have just killed your boss on Earth, hopefully pretty quick, you can fast travel to the Gulch on Earth, and there is a chance you'll be linked up with a Nether Saboteur, giving you another opportunity to get one of the weapons. This farm method only works if you kill your Saboteur quickly. However, these Saboteurs don't take long to spawn, giving you lots of opportunities to farm. In this clip here, I managed to get my hands on the Atlanta DXD 1992. Hopefully you guys will be luckier than me and not get another edge transit. This farm is all based around RNG. It took me about four, three to four saboteurs to get my first kinetic new Black Forge weapon. However, there are other weapons to acquire in this event, like a rocket launcher, hand cannon, sidearm, and an auto rifle. If you are on Nessus at Artifact's Edge and you have just killed your saboteur, head down to the hollows to yet again get another try at getting one of these weapons. I managed to get the kinetic SMG and energy auto rifle from the saboteurs. Moving on, trying these weapons out with random rolls. These rolls are not too bad, but you definitely want to get a perk like kill clip on that SMG or get a good stat stability roll on that auto rifle. I definitely say this is a smart move on Bungie to get players out and farming. I can't remember the last time I stood out with a random crowd just waiting for a boss to spawn. It was honestly a really, really great idea to bring this event out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. This has been Roos, and I'll catch you guys next time.